Welcome to ECU Flash Training Part 3. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our EvoScan software as well as Megalog Viewer for data logging purposes. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with EvoScan data logging software in this video. This is going to be an essential part of your tuning process, doing your tuning on your Evo 7, 8, or 9. And we're also going to take a look at using Megalog Viewer for different data analysis. So the Evo scan is going to be what we absolutely have to have. The Megalog Viewer is going to be something that we may or may not want to use. But again, I use it in my personal process. So I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of an insight why I go and use both together. So first things first, let's go and download and get our Evo scan copy of the software. Evo scan is going to be a paid version, it is not going to be free like ECU Flash. So we'll have to go here to the software products if I click on this link and I move towards the middle of the page here, we can find Mitsubishi Subaru OBD2 CAN EvoScan software. This is going to be what we want to purchase. So it's going to cost $25. Now, if you haven't purchased your Tactrix 1.3 cable yet for doing flashing, um, you can actually purchase it right here from EvoScan. Um, they'll have a couple different options here for purchase. We're going to have, if you look here, the EvoScan 1.3U, the universal cable. This is the cable that I personally purchased years ago. It allows you to flash uh, both Subaru and Mitsubishi, so it's more of a universal cable. Some of those other options here are a little bit more specific for uh, working with just Mitsubishi. Uh, this cable right here, the EvoScan 1.3D, for example. So I chose to purchase the U cable, the universal, allowed me a little bit more flexibility for open source for Mitsubishis and Subarus, and we will be doing an open source Subaru course uh, coming up in the future. So if you purchase the cable, you'll be able to get a $5 discount here. Um, so you're going to want to click on here, purchase your, purchase your software. It's going to, you're going to get a, an email from EvoScan that's going to give you the unlock code, and you'll be able to unlock it. So I'm going to skip ahead. I'm not going to go show the actual installation process. There's nothing tricky with that. Well, I have it installed on my desktop right now. So we're going to go here right into EvoScan. You can see that's going to be the icon. I have an ECU flash icon from our previous video and our EvoScan here. So again, there's going to be no trickery. Last video with the ECU flash, we have to jump into the C drive and actually create a shortcut link to the desktop. EvoScan is going to install. It's going to be pretty straightforward and simple. So double click on the icon here. This is going to open up our EvoScan software. So once we're in the software, there's going to be some things that we definitely want to set up um, and, and configure right off the bat. So it's going to work optimally on our Evo 7, 8, or 9 application. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that we have our cable that we're working with here, open port 1.3 cable. Now you could use a 2.0 Tactrix cable on a 7, 8, or 9. However, the logging isn't going to be as good and there's going to be some limitations to it. So this is really designed for CAN and Evo 10 applications on that 2.0 cable. I actually own both of the cables and when I do my tuning on Evo 7, 8, or 9 applications, I choose and work with the 1.3 cable for reference sake. So we're going to make sure we select it on that. Next thing we want to make sure we have it if we're on Evo 7, 8, or 9 on the Mitsubishi Mutt 3. This is going to be showing vehicles 94 all the way to 2007. So it's not going to be including the Evo 10. If you have the open port 2.0 cable, which again, I recommend that you don't use it, use a 1.3, it automatically defaults here to CAN Evo 10 we'd have to go and switch it back here to the MUT3 so it knows that protocol. But in this case, you're going to be wanting to use the 1.3 cable, so we'll make sure it's selected on that. And we do have some other things we want to make sure our software has configured. It's going to be speeding up our data logging and making... Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.